Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. Thank you so much for supporting me. And if you support me as a member on the Ruby Tuesday, I just want to let you know that we're dropping uh, my favorite Studio Ghibli movie on there today well in a little bit so it'll be there as a, like an extra thank you for the this week with the content that you get anyway so i thank you a lot anyway let's jump into this new netflix original movie morabashi did i pronounce that right ma boroshi <laughs> Anyway, let's get into Mara Boshi, a new Netflix original movie. Well, original because they bought the license to put, put it on their channel as an original, but has aired in Japan and had cinema rights there, obviously, because that's where it was created. Let's jump in to talk about whether this is worth your time. Following an explosion at a factory that mysteriously freezes a town in time, two students encounter a mysterious feral child, spurring an impulse of love fueled by the frustration of their daily lives that begins to upend their world. So Mabaroshi is directed by uh, Mari Akoda, who's also written by an incredible writer. Lots of things you would have heard of. Just check in the IMDb uh, selection. You'll see how much of uh, great content they've created. So we're in good hands, as well as the animation studios as Mappa, which I really enjoy their work. Mostly, Mostly. when it comes to Mappa, if, if you see their kind of logo up here, I'm like, okay, uh, sign me up. Let's see what you're doing this time. When this film started, <laughs> I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. In fact, it took me about 30, 40 minutes, almost halfway into it, me going, I'm really not vibing with this film. It's kind of all over the place. I have no idea what's going on. Like you get the, origi the original sort of concept, but there are so many things that it just takes you, it makes you think that they're taking you the viewer for granted because you have to know certain things or you don't know certain things and you just have to go with the flow on that you have to kind of piece it together yourself until the latter half of the film where things start to make sense and they start allowing you to understand some of the questions that you've been asking during this movie so if you tap out with the first half you're going to be sorry because the second half makes the first half definitely worth it and that's not to say there is an enjoyment in the first half Mostly. The first half of the film, you're definitely going to be asking yourself questions. You're going to be a little bit confused. The story is puzzle piecing itself together for that second half, which I think works to this, but you do have to give it the time. Now, when it comes to animations itself, it's beautiful. And when you come to MAPA, if they're spending budget and they're spending time in this, you know they do good work. But what you want to see is some of those vistas, those wide open spaces that they create that look beautiful with the character designs, some of those really close up shots with uh, emotional moments. <laughs> where characters have their hair kind of movements, uh, those perfect moments when the story is crescendoing to a moment that you need to feel something emotional. That is when they really shine and put their, their work into it. And that's so you get to feel what the director or the storyteller is wanting you to feel. And they do that perfectly here. Yeah. Like it's so good. It was, uh, I was amazed at, um, not amazed and, and not really unexpected, but just again, blown away by what you can show on screen. <laughs> There are a few kind of creators or the studios that behind some of these these moments that you'll recognize um, some other anime or just the styles, the, the fluidity. The fluidity? The fluidity. <laughs> in those moments when it comes to sort of the action sequences and there's no sort of fighting in this anime but there are moments like chases and running away and um, big environment moments that just look so beautiful on screen <laughs> Now this town is centered around the steel mill and there's it's all the story is all centered around moments uh, Well a moment frozen in time, but moments that these people experience because they're kind of trapped in time So it makes you ask certain questions about uh, The value of life the value of love and that is showcased throughout the story between our two main protagonists very well And by the time you get to the end really still has you asking those questions and make you make you kind of go yeah i really should value every moment don't take any day for granted because you never know when your time is up 
it's a very good showcase for that question uh, in amongst the anime which is beautiful the story which is puzzle piecing that builds itself together in a crescendo of that kind of perfect answering the question in a beautiful beautiful way uh, i think this is very good i wasn't really sure about it in that first half but by the time i got to that second half i was down for it and something else you've got to talk about when um, doing a review for anime, especially an anime film, you've got to talk about the score or the soundtrack. Here we have a soundtrack from Masuru Yokoyama. I hope I'm doing the name justice, but you will recognize his name from things like Astra, uh, Astra Lost in Space, Occult 9, Fruit Baskets. <laughs> Mashal, Magic and Muscles, which is one of my favorite anime at the moment. <laughs> Just really grounded, but also atmospheric with that fantasy quality when you need it. So it can be vibrant, jumpy and fast, but has that mystical energy that you need sometimes for those moments. Perfect choice for this film. So as a combination of talent that we have showcased on screen for a film that's edited and paced very well once you get to that end because you understand how they've put it together, I think this ends up being very good. Like I mentioned at the beginning, if you tapped out early, you're going to be sorry and going to want to come back because this was quite fun in the end. I understood what was happening in the end. So I think the characters are very easy to like once you understand who they are the story the themes are quite adult once you understand what they're trying to tell you but the journey of what these characters go through i think that's what works for this film in in the best way possible so definitely stick this on your watch list let me know what you thought i'm going to give this four nicholas cages out of five <laughs> and you got one it didn't absolutely blow me out of the water but the soundtrack, the score, the way it looks, the choices of the editing and pacing all come together to give me an anime journey of something that feels fairly fresh. It makes me definitely want to watch it again with friends and family. I don't know if I'll watch it again by myself anytime soon. But for those that haven't watched it, when you experience something together with friends, I find that quite enjoyable. Like one of my favorite films, if I watch Aliens and I heard someone that hadn't seen it and I watched it with them, getting to see how they experience those moments for the first time that's the, the sort of thing that i want to see with this film what people think about moments that's it, man. game over man it's game over when they see certain moments showcase that when it's beautiful it's stunning when it's emotional it is very emotional when it's confusing it's all over the place so thanks so much for watching this but most of all until next time remember live long tuesday